Hey, Lit Gang, welcome back to Talk Little Cool TV. It's your girl, Little Cool J, and I'm back. So, today I have Bambi and Shay Johnson on the Lit News Desk. So, Shay Johnson says she was never. Little Scrappy's a side chick in response to a clip from a love and hip hop scene. Here's the clip. It was like, yo, like it's been all these years, right? And she's just been violating and violating and violating. And I get it. You know, that's his mom and he wants that yeah. to be a thing, but it's not gonna happen. I love Mama D, but it's like, come on, Mama D, you gotta stop at some point. But she's never gonna stop. Even right now, you see her posting she used to with. Mama D just posted a video of Scrap's old side chick, Shay, congratulating this lady on her baby. And she's talking about she's gonna be the god grandmother or some And now you got people on the internet assuming that the baby is gonna be Scrap's. I could see if it was like an ex-girlfriend, somebody that had a meaningful relationship with him, but it's like a side chick. If anybody in my family did some like that, like he would be livid. Yeah, I have no idea why Mama D is trying to like pit me and Shay against each other. Like, lady, I do not. So Shay responded, I wouldn't have anything to say if the petty ish about me wasn't aired last night on national television. I mind my business and stay out of family ish. That's not my place. I've made this clear to at the real mama D as well, but go on TV to call me a side chick was petty. So just to be clear, I was never a side chick for no man, period. Enjoy your day. So then Bam responds and she says, you were quick to defend yourself for being a side chick but crickets when y'all were insinuating my husband was your baby daddy for your storyline. Honestly, all this is cap, including this clip. We both know that engagement ended right after that reunion. If you're gonna use Erica for a fact Bible, post the clip where she called you the family pet. Is that one also a fact? So Shay comes back and she eats and leaves no crumbs with this last comment where she goes, when did I ever say your husband was my child's father? That never happened. You were so pressed on what the public had to say, it pissed you off. My child's father is nobody's business but mine. And when I choose to tell the world who he is, it will be, my, be on my time. Let's make that clear. As far as a storyline, you were talking about me last night. I never mentioned you at all on the show, so please stop with the BS. Last but not least, we both know the engagement ended because he was effing you and Erica can clear that up. Family, pet, girl, stop. Anyhow, you can't get mad that I'm sticking up for myself after you started this ish talking about me first last night. So I'll end it there. And she chucked her the deuces. So someone commented, Bambi, it's 2022. Don't nobody want Scrappy but you. <laughs> Somebody else said, it's giving insecure through years of trauma with the one man because how did anybody correlate that man was the BD? And the last person comment, Shay cleared, Bambi needs to stop acting like she wasn't in the hot tub with Benzino, Kirk, and his three earrings. <laughs> now, for real, Bambi must have amnesia because... It's giving groupy vibes when you were in that hot tub with Rashida's husband. Now, let me know your thoughts on this one. Now, moving on to T.I. Now, he spoke today on friends and family not speaking out on his family's behalf while they were being attacked due to his son, King, and Charleston White going back and forth. Here's what he had to say. 
quite a day yesterday. Um, as I meditate and unpack circumstances, uh, it, 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 it dies on me. This is the second time I've seen my family attack. And I've seen social media weaponized against us by the enemy. It's the second time. Both times I watched the community have absolutely nothing to say on our behalf. I watched friends or people who we say are friends. I watch people who we have donated our time, effort, energy, resources, and attention to look on as not just me, no, my family, my wife, my children, uh, Tech, and the people that we go outside of our, outside of our, our, our convenience, go out our way to help, whether it's calling us for, for people who can't afford to feed themselves, people who can't afford to house themselves, families who can't afford to bury their loved ones, people who can't afford to build themselves out, you know, or just people who need inspiration, just need to be poured into. None of these organizations, none of the leaders of these different communities, nobody, nobody thought to stand up, speak on my family's behalf when we being attacked. Nobody. Never. Not once. Alright. Then where we at with it? Let's let it stay up. So someone commented, you need to speak out on your own family's behalf. Stop excusing your son's behavior. He needs to be corrected. Someone else says, um, King created all of this though. Hold your son accountable because he's trying to gain clout but acting street when he's not. Cut like that. Charleston White feeds off this type of stuff. So that made it worse. Now he's using y'all for clout. And this last person commented, no one is obligated to do anything, anything to protect your family. Protect your family at all costs, sir. But please also check your son. His mouth is a little bit too grown. Now, I think T.I. should, for real, please expeditiously log off and attend to his suburban thug of a son. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on King's behavior and T.I. wanting people to stand up for his family. Now, moving on to some sad news for Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill. The couple has allegedly separated and has filed for a divorce and Cynthia even went as far as removing his last name from her Instagram profile. Now, some someone commented, he said he has never been faithful, first and only red flag she needed. Someone else said, we all knew Mike wasn't a good man from how he did his last wife. Believe people when they show you who they are. And the last comment says, he admitted to cheating in every relationship he's ever been in. Cynthia should have ran for the hills the second he admitted that. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to hear that. And I actually love Cynthia, but the signs were very clear and she should have took all of the red flags and exited left. But one thing about Cynthia, she's not afraid of divorcing a ninja. Good luck to them both. Drop your thoughts below and let me know how y'all feel about these stories. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. With post notifications turned on. We are on the road to 1K Lit Gang. I'll see y'all in my next video. Let me talk my shit for you. Talk about it. Let me talk my shit for you.